I mentioned earlier, some people have chosen to stay put until there's no other choice but to leave. One of them is Leilani Estates resident Ikaika Marzo, who's been right in the middle of it all, posting updates on his Facebook page. And Jen Boniza spoke with him tonight. Jen. Dash Marissa Ikaika Marzo is from Lower Puna, and he says he and his family lived through the Kalapana eruption. But he tells me this was different. Though things have quieted down, he says he thinks this event is far from over. Ikai Kamarzo has been in the thick of things all day, posting updates on social media about the historic eruption in Leilani Estates. I reached out to him via FaceTime this evening. We've been feeling really, really hard uh, jolts and tremors still yet. And uh, it, some of the activity has subsided already, but it's not done. I don't think it's done yet. He says he was just one block from Mohalla Street this evening and could still see energy and movement. There's still glooms going out. There's a couple cracks that are that is close by that still uh, have uh, steam coming out. So that's that's an indication that there could be eruption. There's a lot of glow, a lot of fires. He tells me most residents evacuated despite their worry and the fear of the unknown. The community still can't believe this is actually happening. Disbelief. They didn't know. I didn't ever think it was going to ever happen in the United States. Um, ever in my lifetime, ever in their lifetime. So everybody's shocked, sad. Marzo says he will stay in Leilani Estates until he's forced to leave. He plans to keep watch. But he says he knows Madame Pele has more in store for them. Um, be on alert because any, this, this lava flow could pop out any place on this rift zone. Marzo tells me at least one home has been partially burned. He plans to stay the night with his cousin who owns a house in Leilani Estates. He says he is choosing to stay not just to prevent looting, but to keep the community informed. Dash, Marissa.